I'm here at the Maritela Mohammed International Airport and today I bring to you the inaugural flight of Airpeace Airlines from Lagos to Johannesburg. I feel very happy because um, APC is trying to afford uh, the Nigerian flying public direct flight to Joburg and back to Nigeria. Today for APC means a huge achievement, it means a huge um, breakthrough, it means a huge advancement, a huge step in the right direction. And this is ooh, beautiful water cannon salute. We are getting our luggage disinfected now before entering the terminal, which is part of COVID-19 protocols at the airport. Thank you. I'm glad to see that still keeping up with those protocols. This is going to be my first international flight since the pandemic. Inside the terminal, preparation for the inaugural is in top gear. The stand is looking very colorful, absolutely beautiful. The whole stand is beautifully decorated with colorful ribbons and balloons in airpiece colors. Everything is set. The airline is very well prepared for the inaugural. The ops are ready, the staff are ready. Check out their beautiful cake, Lagos, South Africa. Uh, still all wrapped up, it hasn't even been opened. You have champagne and you have little chops. Wow, that's nice. Passengers have started arriving to validate their tickets. This inaugural flight that has been celebrated today is actually not their first trip to South Africa. They have flown to South Africa on two different instances. First was on a rescue mission to rescue stranded Nigerians who were caught up in xenophobic attacks in South Africa using their Boeing 777-300 aircraft and lifted over 700 Nigerians. The second instance was uh, on a repatriation uh, exercise at the peak of the first wave of COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, but today we are celebrating their first commercial flight to South Africa. This is just the juiciest offer Nigerians traveling to South Africa and Nigerians returning from South Africa. This is the best offer. Travelers couldn't have asked for a better option, especially with what is happening with travels now. So for me, this is a very important flight. Taking into consideration how travels have changed in the past few months. Nobody wants to spend hours transiting from one country to another or from one airport to another, encountering different COVID-19 rules. For instance, with AP's direct flight to Johannesburg, you only need to be tested once upon departure since it is a requirement for both countries. Okay, and then when you're coming back, it's the same thing. With other airlines, remember, they all have COVID-19 protocols that guide them in their different countries and even in their airports. Travel as of now, it's already stressful. Anything that can reduce and minimize the risks associated with travels now is a big bonus. And I'm glad that APIS is bridging this gap of passengers not having to spend endless time and resources that are not even available. So this is going to be like a buffer 
like a respite that APIS have brought to thousands of Nigerians living in South Africa, even intended travelers or business travelers or leisure seekers going to South Africa or coming to Nigeria or an investor. This is a big respite. It's well timed. A lot could be achieved with this important flight. Remember that both countries are the two biggest economies in Africa and share a cordial bilateral relation which will seamlessly promote business and trade, leisure and tourism. Now you can see the airpiece crew as they make their way to the terminal to get ready for this memorable flight. The crew arrived early to prepare for the journey and uh, stopped by to say hello, pairing time for a photo shoot. They are always a delight. I always admire and appreciate their work, especially in this trying time. I wish to be something special in the end. I wish to be so much better. I wish to be, I wish to be me. I equally arrived early for the flight. Uh, to get all my necessary to get all the necessary documentation ready because flying now isn't quite the way it used to be a lot of protocols are involved I've always advised passengers to arrive uh, way ahead of the scheduled time for flying especially this period our flight time is 1 30 but I got here by 8 p.m. number one I haven't gotten my COVID-19 test result. that is my PCR test result I did it yesterday and I'm expected to receive it today as it takes 24 hours to be ready okay so let me take you back SA requires that you that your that your test results shouldn't be more than 72 hours upon arrival to South Africa okay that is from the time you took the swab uh, to the time you get into South Africa so all the media invited for the inaugural collectively uh, had their tests conducted at the APS headquarters here in Lagos. You can turn to do my COVID testing and I'll tell you uh, how it all went, okay? How did I feel? Was it painful? Uh, yes, it was, uh, I don't know how to explain the feeling. It was quite discomforting. I had teary eyes and all through the test, the medical lab technician was just telling me to relax, take it easy, it's not going to be painful. Well, his calming voice helped me to relax a little bit and also try to breathe in through my mouth because I noticed that it helped me, you know, relax. Uh, at the end of the day, he told me that the text will be emailed to us tomorrow. That is today. So while waiting for my test results, I decided to see how things have changed at the airport since I last visited. As you can see, nothing much has changed besides that the empty terminal is getting ready for the season. Everything is still picking up, but we are not yet there. The airline counters are empty, are devoid of the usual activities. It's truly a very trying period for aviation, for hospitality, for the industries world over. Now let's talk about the aircraft, uh, the vessel that will be making this journey. It is a Boeing 777-200 aircraft. The name of the aircraft is Ife Chuku, with registration number 5 November Bravo Victor Echo. 
Uh, the flight number is flight P47563. Flight P47563 will depart Maritala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, uh, by 1.30 a.m. and to arrive all our Tambo International Airport, Johannesburg, uh, by 8 a.m. Perfect timing. It is a very beautiful aircraft and was the airline's first 777. I still remember the day it touched uh, down at Maritala Mohammed International Airport. We were all there to welcome him. Ifechuku means the light of God. Finally, my PCR test result is here. This is it. This result will eventually determine whether uh, I will be on board the trip or not. And it's negative. And I'm happy for it to come out negative. And then I have my passport. Then I have my yellow fever card, which is mandatory for travelers to South Africa. I mean, mandatory with capital M. Okay, no airline will even, uh, even airlines will not even board you without your yellow card. So don't even think about not having one. Let me go get my boarding pass. Now that I have all my documentations ready, then get ready for the flight. Only one, okay. Okay. Thank you. Lower your mask. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Yes, the window. Yes, thank you. Getting my boarding pass was quick. Okay, um, can I go now? Yes, you can go. Thank you. It's now 11 p.m. I'm done with my check-in. It's time for a brief inaugural ceremony. They are keeping it minimal in line with COVID-19 protocols. A lot of AP top management are here, led by the COO of the airline, Mrs. Toi Olajide. Thank you very much for coming today for celebrating this very special event with us. We are most delighted for this um, great Speed. achievement. It's another milestone for Epi. And today we are commencing our second international flight from Lagos direct to Johannesburg. We are most delighted. We're grateful to God Almighty for making this a success. In a time like this, when you see an airline expanding and opening new routes, it is indeed a great thing. And it shows strength. It shows that we are here to stay. It shows that indeed, Air Peace is an airline to reckon with. Thank you very much. Thank you. The cake is cut and the ribbon as well. This flight definitely deserves a toast. So we're ready to start boarding. I'm glad to be back in the air once again and particularly thankful for Air Peace for making this journey possible. Congratulations on your new commercial route and I wish you all the best of the season. Stay safe and don't miss our onboard experience. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.